This video is about collecting data and entering it. I'm going to start with the Person tab and you'll see I've already entered in some people. I'm just using the ID number as the key field. King in their last name, first name, all of those fields that we described before so that they're unique records. After completing the Person data you're able to use the ID numbers in the data tab, those ID numbers we'll now use in the data tab to be the first item that you use to key in the, da the data of the program. Now here we've filled in some examples for you uh, where we've put in the ID number knowing that all the valid data sits behind it on another tab. Put in a surname, again it doesn't matter if you spell it right or wrong because you've got the correct ID number. And then the first field where you're going to have valid data entry, in this case Youth Camp, you can see that all of the entries that are chosen are valid data items. If we went to key in, it won't let us, it, you must, uh, can only put in the data that we've preset as a valid data item. Dates go straight in, again valid data because of the drop down with mail, ages, contribution amount, referral source and importantly right across to the right hand side of the page how many people completed the program, reason for non-completion and if the evaluation has been complete. 